talk about uh, FedEx Ship Manager uh, International Shipment. Uh, we will talk about how to process uh, international shipment for using commodity or documentation. Um, if you're not using the commodity uh, for, for shipping, I'll show you how to process single piece and multi piece, how to process the um, uh, how to process your you, how you can upload your own commercial invoice or you can use FedEx generated generated commercial invoice. So let's get it started. Country it is required field, so I'm gonna select Canada, and then my next option is contact name. So I'm gonna select the contact name, uh, test, and the company name, and address one. It is a required field. Address two is not required. Normally, people use the address one for for physical address, and that's address two is suite number or uh, apartment number or something. Uh, so I'm gonna enter the uh, test address, and I'm gonna enter the uh, zip code. Once you enter the zip code, press tab, and system will uh, identify the state and city. Uh, I'm gonna select Toronto. Uh, address verification does not work all the time for international, yeah, but it, it does work pretty good um, for for domestic for U.S. Uh, but it is uh, I would uh, I, I would not recommend to use the address verification for international. Um, phone number you can enter the phone number it is required field here uh, EIN number um, this is the, your text ID number so. Uh, we can we, you have to enter this for bill and duties it is required how to enter it you have to uh, you can save it into your profile if you go to databases click on sender profile this is your profile and then on the right hand side it's called text ID number it's right here if you click on view edit you can enter your text ID number and it will save it so you don't have to re-enter it if you aren't enter it just leave it alone you don't uh, leave it blank um, now on the right hand side it's called the package and shipment information this is the place where you're going to enter the your package information you can i'm going to select first the single piece shipment uh, if you have a documentation you keep an eye on the bottom on the section if i click on documentation this option will lit up called documentation document type or description you're gonna select, click on drop down. Um, you can select your document type. Okay, and the total carriage value for this package. If it's not document, you can click on commodity, then you're gonna enter the carriage, uh, total carriage value. So I'm gonna enter the commodity, enter a number of packages. I'm gonna select one uh, weight, the uh, total package weight. I'm gonna say 23 pounds, for example. It has two options pound or kg like uh, kilogram so i'm going to select pound um, service type uh, you have uh, multiple options priority this is very expensive uh, economy this is the priority freight uh, express freight uh, not ltl uh, and the freight for economy and the ground so i'm going to select economy in this case and the package type and i can select box if i select box the dimension options are available I can select the dimensions if I select something else for example like FedEx box um, then dimensions are not required because it's a pre-selected box for FedEx I'm gonna select FedEx I'm sorry a uh, regular box and I'm gonna say medium box um, total carriage value if it is more than hundred dollar enter it FedEx will charge you um, the, the surcharge fee for this because it's like insurance uh, so if you enter $120 for example so FedEx will charge a certain amount on in the US dollar you can only also have multiple options where you can select the total cash carriage value type um, like, like currency amount type uh, payment type I'm gonna select payment type of the sender and bill and duties I'm gonna select in the sender okay department notes 
it is not required but it is a part of your invoice so it's easy to sort it when you receive actual you know like fedex actual invoices it's easy for <coughs> your, your account payables where they can see the department knows uh cost center or reference number or PO number or invoice number so um you can enter it um you can enter the reference number and you can enter the PO number uh, whatever you like and you can select it uh, ship or set uh, option uh, option tab on the top second top they have uh, broker selection if you have a brokerage if you're sending this information uh, this package to a broker you can click on view edit and you can enter the brokerage ID if you have if you have saved already if not uh, you can enter the information so you don't have to retype it in over and over again um, DG if it is a DG just select on and then you can type the DG information dangerous good information uh, if it is uh, any radioactive material or anything uh, dry ice you have hold that location option lithium-ion batteries you have multiple options um, you can select ion pack with equipment UN number is right here 3481 <coughs> or 3481 uh, P9 PI 967 you have multiple options for batteries and cells okay the third tab is called ship alert you can enter the shipment uh, email information uh, to recipient where uh, system will notify the end uh, uh, recipient uh, that your packet has been shipped and will add the tracking number automatically and they will receive the all shipment information via email you can enter your own email address so you will keep you will be informed if the package has any issues or exception comes in you will receive all the details via email custom tab which is the very last one you have two options uh, i would say multiple options you can generate your own commercial invoice or you can generate fedex commercial invoice if you click on fedex commercial invoice you have multiple options you can print number of copies um, or you can do electronic electronic trade document in this case you have to enable that first and then you can upload if you click on here this option this box will lit up and you can browse and upload your company letterhead image or the signature image uh, this is the size uh, maximum size 7.5 to 1.5 inches it is compatible for both uh, jpeg or png file it is right here gift file jpeg and png you can see the note underneath acceptable files type for letterhead and signature images are gif jpeg or png okay uh, how to enable it if you go here on the customize on the top and click on system settings and click on modify this is the place it's called electronic tra trade document and click just put the check on and then uh, just accept it and hit OK okay and then your account would be enabled for electronic trade document you can create a folder at your desktop called ETD and you can then you don't need to print commercial invoice your all international shipment would be uh, uh, commercial invoice free so on the label normally it says ETD when you print out the physical label on the right hand side it says on the very small not very uh, on the right hand side it says ETD it means it stands for electronic trade document so it means you don't need to print commercial invoice or fold it or put it in the box uh, on the on the barcode on the label it holds your commercial invoice so when the customer scan the barcode they will see your commercial invoice okay and then that's it uh, let's click on ship if you want to see the transit time at the bottom you can see it here just click on here and system will tell you the transit time and the rate code um, it's loading right now um, so this option is, is available for uh, for under $2,500 um, if it is you see right here this is the year this is your rates and this is the service type and this is delivery time um so uh so if your carriage value is less than 2500 you don't need to file uh, the eei filing 
um, but you can file if you have more than $2,500 or $2,600 let's say um, then you need to file the EEI filing here uh, it is not required at this point I already filed my electronic uh, filing or you can I want to redirect the website if you click on here it will redirect to the uh, FedEx site uh, and ITN number is required you can click on here file e -A uh, AEs direct if you click on it system will redirect you to that website um, there are a lot of brokerage uh, uh, websites available which where you can process the EI filing from but FedEx also offers uh, uh, locally to process that EI, EI filing so um, that's how you're going to process uh, the international shipment just click on ship system will print out the label if you have a multi-page shipment just click enter the number of packages two and then you can see this option is lit up identical package if you click on that it means those print two labels you're shipping two packages with the with the identical weight and dimension they're identically same if they are not identical let's leave it do not check and then at the bottom right here you're gonna see multi-piece shipment just click on that and this will uh, this box will um, will lit up okay so you see right here this option of print labels after I have completed the shipment just make sure this is checked if not you can click on info information for each package just click on that and then you see it says one of two this is the first box weight click on add okay and uh, one commodity okay I, I'm sorry we did not add the commodity uh, so we have to add the commodity listings first I'm gonna do Canada I forgot it that's was my mistake I apologize phone number and number of packages of two not identical first box weight should get into the first box weight if they're not identical so I'm going to 23 pounds and the service type I'm gonna select economy package type box and payment type sender payment type sender and commodities I'm gonna enter the commodity click on add the, the bold letters on the top of the other required fields um, uh, commodity description manufacturer quantity unit of measures and unit value click on add and customs I'm going to say FedEx generated commercial invoice number of copies three and now I'll, I'm ready to process the multi piece if you go back click on multi piece shipment and I'm going to say information for each package Just put the check on one of two I'm going to add click on add it adds the number of uh, the, the package type like number of package one total weight for one for package one and total carriage value is zero I'm ready for the two of two second box weight is 25 click on add and you can see on the right hand side on the top it will show you the total weight which is 48 pounds and total cost 67.90 cents and click on save and exit and I'm ready to ship let's click on print and the system will print out the label uh, if you like this video uh, please share and subscribe uh, if you have any question just let me know I'll answer you as soon as possible uh, have a good day and let me know if you have any question thank you very much